Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Rathinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about how to handle the checkbox. These are all important methods used in handling the checkbox. And a sample screenshot is shown here. The first one is verifying whether this checkbox is displayed or not, then it is enabled or not. Next one is selected, which is new to you which is used to verify whether this checkbox is selected or not and then click click is the method used to select the checkbox i have created an end-to-end -end scenario which covers all these four methods in this example we are going to use the firefox browser and then and going to implement all these methods for selenium web driver checkbox that is this one let's start the coding we have created a class name handling checkbox. Now the first step is we are going to use the Firefox driver. For that we have to set up the Firefox web driver path system dot set property. The key is web driver dot gecko dot driver and the value we will give a dynamic value here instead of hard coding double slash its drivers double slash gecko driver dot exe nothing but this particular driver after this we have to create the object for firefox driver in the web driver interface web driver interface driver object equal to using new keyword firefox driver semicolon import web driver then import firefox driver driver setup is completed next step is to launch the url driver dot get pasted the url then driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize we are maximizing it now let's go to the application this is a url we are going to automate and it's a firefox browser scroll down as per the requirement we are going to check whether this selenium web driver checkbox is displayed or not enabled or not then select the value and check the status of it we will inspect element just inspect you can see input tag and the id value class value and the type is checkbox and name value so as I already said, we'll always first choose the name locator, copy the name locator value, paste it. But before coming to the conclusion, it is always a good programming practice. We have to inspect the nearby checkbox also to make sure this particular name value is not duplicate. We will inspect for UFT. If you see the value of name locator, for UFT checkbox that is also same it means the name locator value is common for both the checkbox then our next option is to choose the ID let's try to get the ID value ID value for selenium web driver then ID value for UFT now the value is unique it means for this requirement or for this particular application the name locator value is same but the id locator value is unique so we will go with the id locator now declaring the object using web element interface web element a meaningful variable name selenium checkbox equal to driver dot find element by dot id within this we will give this value semicolon and import the web element library so we completed object declaration now as per the requirement we have to verify whether the selenium checkbox is displayed if condition selenium checkbox dot is displayed the output message selenium checkbox is displayed else selenium checkbox is not displayed 
the first condition is over similarly the selenium checkbox is enabled if selenium checkbox dot is enabled the output message is selenium checkbox is enabled else selenium checkbox is not enabled two step completed now comes a new method verifying whether it's selected or not if condition selenium checkbox dot is selected selenium checkbox is selected else selenium checkbox is not selected we completed three conditions or three methods let's execute and see run as java application firefox browser launched and it is navigating to the url execution is completed we'll see the output selenium checkbox is displayed selenium checkbox is enabled and selenium checkbox is not selected we didn't select this value that's why we got output as not selected and uh, one more additional information when we compare the console between chrome and firefox browser in firefox browser we will get additional warning message like this this is just a warning message you no need to worry about it and it is not an exception just a warning message you can leave it as per requirement we completed till step 4 now fifth step is we have to select the checkbox after that verify the status then we have to uncheck the checkbox to select the selenium checkbox it's very easy that object dot click now the selenium checkbox will be selected and we have to verify whether it is selected or not just copy pasting the above code after selecting we are verifying what is the status of it now i want to uncheck this particular selenium checkbox for uncheck also we have to use the same code uncheck or unselect whatever the meaning is same so it will select check the status and uh, it will uncheck this is direct way of coding let me add thread dot sleep 3 seconds add throws declaration interrupted exception adding this particular wait just for execution purpose so that you can see what exactly happening now run as java application browser launched navigating to the url i'm just calling down just see here it selected checking the status then it unselected or unchecked now i'll see the output selenium checkbox is disabled enabled then we are checking whether it's selected or not it is not selected then we are going to select and then trying to check the status it displayed as selected but if you have noticed something to check or to uncheck it is the same code and we have mentioned it outside the loop which is not a good practice so what you have to do is a little modification based on the requirement which you come across your project in this example we know the default value for selenium checkbox is not selected so if i want to select then i will move this code to the else condition so that it will check the value is not selected and we are selecting the value selenium checkbox is selected same verification code is selected can be used like this also for selecting and unselecting the value now i have to uncheck it means will be implementing this steps inside if condition is not selected and else condition is is selected this looks little bit confusing but if you think logically in order to select and unselect or check or uncheck we have only same method dot click based on the application you work you must know what is the default value whether it is checked or not if you want to check 
then implement dot click in the else condition in case if the default value is already checked and if you want to uncheck means then you can implement dot click in the if condition and don't forget to update the output message let me execute run as java application application launched it is selected checking the status then it unchecked or unselected now see the output message it is displayed enabled not selected this is the initial condition then we are selecting the checkbox and uh, checking the status then we are unchecking the checkbox this may look little bit confusing but once you code it practically you will get full clarity we completed the requirement that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning